Hello, Ballistic Tubers! And welcome back to Let's Play X Division... Division Mod... Xenonaut something, etc, etc. With me, Blue Ankylo. I always get the first one of a live stream correct, and then after that, I'm just frazzled by a hard map, and then I can't remember what I'm doing at all. Anyway, last episode, we had a medium UFO. The B-team dealt with it. Barely. But, they're not home yet, but they made it. Uh, there's some injuries, but... Technically, no one's dead forever, luckily. Evan Evan really wants to know if anyone's died. I don't know why you guys are so worried about people that have died. Technically, if you watched last episode, you'll know. So you just have to go check that episode. Episode 530. <laughs> I'm sure someone in chat can explain it. Anyway, the good news is we captured a ballistic heavy weapon, which is definitely something we need. So we'll research that soon. And for now, we get to let a little bit of time go by. Uh, oh, one more thing. <laughs> so, base two did that mission, which means they probably have more things to uh, deal with here. Like, one more guard to tear apart, which is better than just corpses. Uh, we might have some more cores to deal with, maybe. There's one more ballistic core. And we're probably going to learn about tanks. I don't think we caught any Reapers. We, we, we do want to catch another Reaper one of these days. And, uh... Oh, there should be a UFO. So do we want... So it was just a, a, it was just a Corvette. Do we want the parts or do we want the money? Hmm. Hmm. I think we need the parts to bring more UFOs. Also, hello, Lex. And also, Jarrell. Everyone's showing up now. Excellent. Okay. I think I think this time rather than than selling it, we'll we'll disassemble it because I want to make more aircraft in in December, and our money's we'll get more money soon as well. Yeah, okay, makes sense to me. So time goes by, time marches on. Disassembling. Oh, that's right. We had two more uh, energy cores here, so we can upgrade another uh, another sniper rifle. We only have 30 engineers. Eventually, we'll, 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 we'll max out our engineers to 40 in a while. Okay. Let's take apart the drones next. And let's ship the spare energy cores to uh, base 3, which hasn't really had any of those in a long time. That'll give them something to do. Is the black armor new? The wolf armor. That was li last live stream. Wolf armor is pretty good though, yeah. We've had it for a little while. Alright, so into China. Right, they've just been making aircraft weapons. We can put that on hold. Upgrade one of these sniper rifles. We'll need these aircraft weapons one day. But for now, priorities is laser weapons. All right, Precision Laser Mark III, bam. Do I think pistols are worth it in general? Not that much. I guess they uh, they have a niche, but I generally prefer laser rifles and things like... Most, most basic rifles I prefer to, to, to pistols. All right, civilian data hack number one. This is our first civilian data hack. Yeah, the uh, Xenonauts, one of the main design philosophies is uh, the alien UFOs come in waves. So you need lots of aircraft to shoot down to, to keep control of the sky. So, we uh, we finished the civilian data hack. It did actually unlock one new tech, which is kind of cool. Uh, we don't... We'll probably research this soon enough. This is better grenades. Uh, and grenades are pretty good. But I really want to get the division tech going first right now. So we're going to do that right now. Alright, disassembling. I'm still going to build up the base grenades because they're very, very cheap. We disassembled another UFO. Now I might consider making some more aircraft soon. Alright, the researchers worked real fast. Ancient Ballistic Heavy. Uh, ancient. There is actually Ancient Weapons, but that's a different tech. Alien Ballistic Heavy. The final Ballistic Weapon. Bam! Now we can get some progress. Ballistic tech advanced. 
took the aliens took their sweet time letting us have that gun. All right. Also, that tank. There's no picture of it, but that cool tank we fought. We can disassemble them into uh, dense fibers. Now, I assume the first one got consumed by the research, but let's just double check. Yeah, no, di no tank wreckages right now. They are worth quite a lot of dense fiber. Alright, so B team, is are they out of work to do already? Man, it feels like we barely did anything with these guys. We disassembled. I guess we could, uh, let's see. We could make three Assyrius if I wanted. We've got three in the space. No spare hangers, so we have to kind of move them all around. But, uh, right, we've got those two new bases. And they could have their interceptors moved over. Sure, base two is Central, North, Central America, so they can move their stuff to North America. That's fine. Relocate to North America, and then build a new one. Here. <laughs> okay, I see what I did. Good job, Blue. Okay. There's just going to be some, some planes flying around. There we go. And uh, I think I... Yeah, we'll build the Mausers for them soon enough. That won't take very long. All right. Build some spare Mausers. All right, first Assyrius is done. Move the next one to North America. Or North Africa, because, hold on, yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. I've messed everything up. Okay, North Africa, base number one has the three. North America only has one, okay, perfect. Sorry, guys. Got a little bit confused. That's all. North America fighter number two. Keep building. Advanced ballistic technology. All right. Now we can learn advanced division technology. Also, we did an autopsy on one of the, uh, the civilian chiefs. This was the guy that we killed with an axe, if I remember correctly. That's fun. Number, base number one is restocking its uh, grenade supplies. Assumedly, we've got some Malgers. We'll wait, wait till we've got like six of them and I'll transfer them over. Because right now, uh, base number two's brand new Assyrius are going to be a little bit under-equipped. Because they won't have the better, the better guns on them right now. But assumedly, five done... Shouldn't take very long to get a sixth one done. We'll send them all over. Well, we built the new Assyrius faster than we could build the Mausers. Well, that was all of our aircraft supplies for the moment. Made one more base of fighters. We're blasting through the tech. Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right, Mark II is unlocked. Booyah. So, I want... There's a variety of things I want. <laughs> I want to unlock the rifles quickly and then the machine gun and maybe minigun to see if they're worth um, switching anyone over to. Also, I don't know if we have the Mark III of these yet because uh, we did do one civilian data hack, so some of these might have a Mark III version. And I would love to have those available. Also, the shotgun would be pretty good. Oh, yeah. And Thornum wants the SMG. Okay. The good news is these research pretty fast. So don't worry. It won't, it won't take too long. So we still don't have six Mausers. Any second now, I'm sure. There's Mauser number six. Okay. Transfer to base number two. We're looking for X vehicle or is X aircraft Mausers? All right. And now we get these guys armed up at base number two. The brand new, fresh Assyrius. OK, 
Okay. Got a pretty good Air Force. How's the uh, upkeep doing? Eh, we're okay on upkeep. I don't want to build too much faster, but we're, do we're doing fine for now. Controlling the skies is very important to me. Now, I think... We have already disassembled all of our UFOs. So, base one... did They, they did a disassembly, right? Maybe not. I don't have any alien computers on standby right now. All right. I guess we we sold all the one the, all the other ones. So we'll need, we'll need to do some more craft disassembly. How did I get to four million? We don't we don't have four million. Four million income, four hundred thousand in the bank. Your your income, your upkeep and, and income are like, uh, the, the income goes up when you do good missions, the upkeep just always goes up. <laughs> Everything gets more expensive. Are we going to give SMGs to shielders? Eventually, eventually. <laughs> I'll do what I can. We'll, we'll figure something out. Alright, uh... There's a dog barking outside. It's driving me mental. Okay, we're just gonna let these engineers have a break. I can't decide what I want them to do, so. Disassemble. We're on the... We're, we're about to get some new guns. Shotgun, rifle. Rifle Mark III. Okay, that's great. We want that. And let me see if we get SMG Mark III's. So... New guns. Mark III... Mark II Division Rifle is probably not going to be quite as good as the Mark III Laser Rifle, but we'll be able to upgrade them. And uh, we should have a bunch of ballistic cores. So I want to build a couple for sure. We've got a decent supply. I don't. We don't have a ton, but we can build two of these and probably two of these. And we'll be able to upgrade them. Basically for each base is what I'm thinking. Because now we're going to start having backup weapons. It's... Okay, these guys don't have a lot of ballistic cores, to be totally honest. I'm sure base one has a lot of ballistic cores, right? Yeah. We'll just move some over once once the A team is all geared up. We'll send some extras to the, the B and C teams. Plus, we're continuing to disassemble them right now to get more cores. Oh yeah, you saw that one, Drow. That was a that was a fun mission for Drow's uh, zombie vet zombie battle. We don't need the torpedoes just yet. We'll build them in a minute. All right, our first round of Mark II rifles. SMG Mark II. Oh, you're so lucky. We got the SMG Mark III right away. <laughs> All right, so that's good news for our uh, for Thornum at the very least. I don't know about anybody else, but uh, Mark II SMGs are. I guess we'll do a little comparison here. So the Mark I that we have equipped right now, six range, twenty damage, twenty shock. Don't worry about it. It doesn't do that. It slows them down a little bit. Twenty kinetic, and you do bursts of eight basically. And this guy is still 20 kinetic, burst of 8. Uh, what makes it better? <laughs> what, what's the difference? 6, 20, 20. 6, 20, 20. Oh, it ignores 5 armor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, 40 ammo, 4 weight. 40 ammo, 4 weight. So this is not, this is not much of an upgrade. 40% TU, 20 accuracy times 8. 40% TU, 20 accuracy. <laughs> so this is one of the reasons why I don't I don't use a lot of SMGs. The Mark II SMG, not not a big winner. But I'll queue one up for everybody. Pretty sure we have enough cores to at least make the basic set. 
All right, what's next? I still think the shotguns might be a better backup weapon for the sh for the uh, for the snipers. <laughs> That'll be nice to have. All right, Mark III. Here's where things get exciting. Mark III weapons. Let's keep. Uh, I don't really care about pistol, sniper, rifle. I'd love to find out if we get the heavy machine. Well, actually, let's go to grenades. There's a lot of things I want. You better get that SMG Mark III before the mission. Well, we'll see how it goes. The better grenades are probably better than some of these other weapons. We've got stuff to build now, which is what I wanted. Uh, so here we go. Mark III Division Rifle. Why am I kind of interested in that? So I built the, I'm built starting to build the Mark IIs. 18 range, 40 damage, ignores 10 armor. These guys, 16 range. They actually have less range. What? Less range? 40 damage. So 45 damage, 15 armor ignores. So they're kind of like 10 more damage approximately. And compared to the Division Mark 1 or 2, it was 40 and 10. And Mark 1 was 40 and 0. So plus 10 damage every time basically per shot. But uh, the real the real winner is there on the bottom. 45% time units, 45 accuracy, 4 shots. Instead of 45% accuracy, 45, 45%, 45 accuracy, 3 shots. So you get one extra bullet, a little bit more armor mitigation and damage. And if you compare it to a laser rifle, Mark III, for same tech tree, they're doing very similar damage, 42 and 10. You, oh, you, sorry, I was covering up the very... <laughs> the music player covered up just the little corner there. Well, you just have to take my word for it. Once we've researched more, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> it's four shots. <laughs> anyway, laser rifle is only three shots and similar damage otherwise. The lasers are more accurate at longer range. The division rifles do more damage, like more DPS. Uh, and against things that are weak to kinetic, of course, that's that's better. Anyway, I don't, I don't want to spend too much more time blathering on about that. It's just... Uh, it's nice. We'll, we'll have a couple of those for sure. Alright, so we're researching. We're building new guns. This is all I ever want in life. Division shotguns coming through. We'll get that SMG going. And we'll start upgrading. I think to start with, we'll just get two division rifles per team. We got some more money. Not a ton of money. Also, by the way, <laughs> Drell, thank you for the super chat. I did see that. I just, uh, boy, am I, boy, am I distracted by all the things going on right now. Drell wants to be uh, renamed, so we can, we can do that. That's fine. Because he's more of a zombie than a, uh, a real character. All right. He never technically died. It was crazy. <laughs> Alright, division rifles, division shotguns. We'll have some fun re-gearing some people once this is all done. There's our first SMG. Then we'll go for uh, more rifles. And I, we might as well upgrade that SMG as soon as we can too. All right, SMG Mark III. So we'll have a look at that. And we will see. I think we'll just invest in the grenades. I'll check these other division weapons out. But we're going to... We probably researched enough that we'll run out of ballistic cores at this point anyway. Yeah, sorry about that. If you die, you know, you don't get to keep your rank. <laughs> it's an unfortunate side effect. All right, Mark III SMGs. Here we go, just for Thornum. I know he's very excited. So we already covered Mark I to Mark II. Mark II, 20 kinetic damage, ignores 5 armor. 22 kinetic damage, ignores 8 armor. So another 5 more damage, is sort of. Well, 8, ar eight armor mitigation is not much. So it's essentially probably 5 more damage. 40% TU, 20% accuracy, 8 shots is the same. Suppression 37, ammo 40. Suppression 39, ammo 40. Is it better? I don't know. I think they're all 8 range. Oh, 6 range to 8 range. There you go. 
That's the big winner. Now you can shoot two squares further away without totally... Well, you're still very low accurate, but maybe it'll work out. All right. So, you know. <laughs> we'll, get him, we'll get him built up. It's going to take a little while to get through all the uh, the other upgrades, but it's on the way. And yeah, we had lots of ballistic cores. That will be... What was it? Uh, one, one core per rifle. I think I was supposed to do two rifles, wasn't I? Forgot to upgrade that to two. Hold on. Like I said, blue might get a little bit confused from now and then. Yeah, so we need to send two, three. We need to send like maybe six or so ballistic cores to the third base. And we might have enough at base two, so we won't worry about that one just yet. Let's let's transfer those around before I forget so they can keep crafting good stuff. We don't have a ton of ballistic cores, but it's enough to get us a first wave of weapons basically everybody everybody wants an SMG I, I know I'm starting with just building one we'll see if we can get them all to mark three and then I'll build a second one okay that should have started like we, we ran out of materials and then I sent over the ballistic course so it should have continued mark two SMG complete at base number two Get the division rifles going. Queue up the upgrade. Rename a car to shut up Bradford. <laughs> Man, these cars. So we got Hunter 13. He's got three kills. Hunter 04X with 19 kills on this thing. Look at this. Almiron. All right. Well, we'll go for one of the bases that only doesn't have a rename. That's fine. <laughs> sure. The, the Bradford line continues. Alright, hey. Better grenades. Also, better rockets. You guys might be excited about these too, actually. So, assuming that I'm not totally overloading my engineers. Which isn't so bad at the second. Everyone's working away. Working 24-7. No one gets any sleep. You need a jet called Saucy Chicken. Yeah, we could probably do that if you really want. Uh, grenades. So, this this fat boy here is an advanced alenium grenade. Also, I just noticed something. Hold on. Oops. Okay, that should be back. So many problems with today's live stream. Not really problem problems, but you know what I mean. Okay, yeah. Uh, no meat wagons, no renamed jets just yet. Let me let me talk about grenades for a second, then I'll go rename more stuff. So our basic grenades we're using right now have 90, incend 90 incendiary fire damage and uh, an area of effect of 2. Our upgraded grenades will do 105 plus ignore 10 armor, so 115 essentially, and a radius of 3. So they're bigger, they're badder, they're more explodey. I don't see any reason not to use them. Until you realize they cost alenium. So they are precious. We'll build some, but they're more of a backup. I'll build like eight per base as a, uh, we want to use them for big, big explosions when we need them, but you don't want to waste too much alenium on these guys because we will need more of that for lots of things in the future. And we have, we have a fair stock. It's okay. Sometimes radius 3 is bad. It depends on what we're trying to do. Did you think they're using aluminum? Well, okay. An alenium grenade doesn't use any alenium. But an advanced alenium grenade does. <laughs> it's interesting. All right. Almost. Oh yeah, we got into December. We're in December now. Yeah. We got so much stuff going on. 
It's very high tech. 19, it's, it's still 1979. Hey, look, more new stuff. Let's have a look at our grenade. I mean, rocket. So this is actually slightly different. This is, uh, rather than like a, um, an advanced grenade, this is an armor-piercing rocket. So this is kind of, uh, a different, it's, 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 it's there's, it doesn't, like, supersede the previous rocket. 180 incendiary ignores 10 armor and area of effect of 3.5 versus 300 incendiary damage plus ignores 30 but only has a radius of 1. So this is your precision rocket. It's not a giant explosion but it does a ton of damage. This will be real good against robots or enemy tanks. So you know I'm a fan of these for sure. But, sad to say, they need Alenium. So we're not going to be able to build too many. I'll start with four. Which means I'm going to have to send some Alenium to this base because they're not going to have enough. The C team hasn't done enough missions. Can't keep them fully geared up. So before I forget, let's ship some over. From the main base to base number three, resources, Alenium. We'll just send him a 10 pack. All right. Anti tank rockets. That's the stuff. And my researchers are researching better explosives. Okay, well, you can guess how that'll work. There's your Mark III SMG. Let's get some of these grenades out of the way. I might build a second SMG. And we still got more ballistic cores coming, but there's a lot of things to build. As you can see. It's been a very busy week for the engineers. New tech all over the place. Mark 3 rifle. Mark 3 SMG. AP rocket. Well, that didn't take very long at all. Man, the grenades and rockets, they get built fast. So... How many researchers would I get for phase 2? Depends on your money situation. Uh... Because there's going to be a billion new techs in Phase 2, I would try to go from 40 to 60 or 40 maybe to 80 if you can afford 80. 80 would be probably the top end. 40 would be the low end. And it just depends on how much you can afford. If you got tons of money, then go for 80. And then be planning for Phase 3 to go up to like 120 or something like that. Probably 40 per phase is fine. And you don't need them. It just speeds up the... The input of research. If, if you know the Trek tree, you can get away with less because you can pick you can pick the good research first. But if you're playing blind, you need more researchers to make up for your dead ends that you don't know about. So it's kind of, you know, kind of depends on stuff like that. All right. Uh, what was I saying? More division. Map I guess I generally I haven't like 100% committed to always having two shield guys. But it seems like I'm generally bringing two shield guys. So I guess double SMG, seeing as we've got them. And we have enough ballistic cores, so let's do that. I think the SMGs are better than the pistols for Mark for phase one. Okay, let's get some more weapon tech out of the way. It's possible I would build a minigun. We'll have a look at it. And then this new explosive. I'm not going to rush to build very many of these either, but... So, we've gone from C4 to Alenium to Advanced Alenium again. And these things do do a ton of damage. So, 270 damage. We usually use them on doors. There's no reason you couldn't use them on aliens. Uh, but 270 ignores 20 and a 4 radius. Upgrades to 400 ignores 20. But only a 2.5 radius. So, they're actually more um, condensed, I guess. Kind of weird. Works more like a grenade. But, this is a 1x2 pack. This is the size of a med kit, a 2x3. So they take up a lot of inventory space. And they're pretty heavy. 5 weight instead of... Instead of 3 weight, they're 5 weight. So, you know, this is one of those upgrades I'm not a huge... I don't think that's too big of a deal. I think the rockets and grenades are good upgrades. I think the, uh, the explosives are kind of eh. But that's just my opinion. I haven't really tested them out a whole lot. Alright, miniguns incoming. SMGs, that's that extra one, 
Get that upgraded. Boy, that was fast. Oh, no, that was a different base. <laughs> All right, grenades. Miniguns. Ooh, we did get the minigun Mark III. We got a lot of good Mark III's from that uh, data hack. Interesting. I'll, I'll do the comparison once we've got the Mark III. All right. SMGs complete for base one. Fully kitted out. Advanced Alenium grenades, advanced Alenium rockets. I don't assume. I don't. Ex I don't suppose base one has any energy cores laying around. We need. We need. I really do want to get that laser minigun, but maybe instead we'll end up going for a division minigun just because we have. We're not going to have enough for for the Mark III, are we? It's okay. Miniguns are really good. They're just hard to build. Oh, I think I know what's happened to the playlist. One second. So I did a, a little trick when I started today's stream, and I think I realized why it's repeating so much. I, uh, I searched for a specific song, and that gave you a subset of the full playlist, which is fine, and I could select the one I wanted to play. But now it's only playing from that subset rather than from the whole playlist. There we go. Now we're on to a different game. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Fantasy Star music, but now I understand how VLC works a little bit better. <laughs> I just, sometimes I feel like you get the same song over and over again. It's a little bit repetitive. Okay. Base 2. What was I talking about? They just finished doing something. Building guns, probably. Oh, grenades. So we've got... One Mark Three SMG, two rifles, two Mark II shotguns for now. We've got... Eight super grenades and four super rockets. I guess if we have the cores, we just have enough. We'll go for the second SMG as well. Actually, one thing we could do here. So base one just used up all of their, uh, assumedly all of their alien ballistic weapons for disassembly. I might, uh, I might send some more over. Okay, yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to try to get one Mark III. We can definitely get one Mark III Division minigun. We're not going to be able to afford the laser minigun for a while. This might be inferior, but we'll at least be able to build one. And what I'm going to do while we're in our kind of downtime section here is uh, transfer additional equipment to the main base for disassembly just so we get the maximum number of cores basically so all that stuff and same thing from three base number three we'll probably even get a couple more energy cores out of it okay just moving stuff around nothing to worry about grotham is the deadliest of ankylos sorry i'm missing a little bit of chat here i know you guys have been playing some cool mini games I'm just trying to focus on all the crazy stuff going on with tech. 30 minutes in, we haven't even done a mission. Alright, so we have Division Miniguns. Let's pick up the vehicle cannon. Um, I mean, we'll get all this stuff soon enough, don't worry. I suppose we should compare that. So, Division Miniguns. I guess we'll start with Mark 1 and work our way down. So, Mark 1 Minigun. 16 range, 20 damage, uh, 32 shots at 8 accuracy, 65% TU. So, it's uh, it's probably a straight upgrade over the heavy machine gun in most scenarios. You can't move and shoot it as well, but it shoots a lot more. It's a lot more potential DPS. But then the, the upgrades are where it starts to shine, right? So instead of 20 damage base, Mark II goes up to 20 base plus 5 ignore, damage ignoring. And it goes from 32 shots to 40 shots, okay? Like, that's not bad. But that's not necessarily enough for me to build one. And then when we go to Mark III, if you can see it, we go from 20 damage, ignore 5, to 22 damage, ignore 8. So another small damage upgrade. But, we now shoot 80 shots per round, per, per volley, let's say. 80 shots is a lot. Now, the downside with this minigun is it only has 200 ammo. 
So you can basically fire it two and a half times, and then you have to reload. But, it's pretty comparable to the laser minigun Mark III, who also fires bursts of 80. The, the laser minigun does a little bit less damage, but the damage type is better. The energy damage tends to be better than kinetic damage. Uh, but it has 800 ammo instead of 200. So, the laser minigun is my favorite. As, as far as miniguns go. But we can't really even afford one right now. So let's start with the Division one. Also, the laser minigun is very heavy. So it does have some downsides. It's not a clean win on every aspect. Alright, that's our extra Division machine gun. Division SMG. That's our first Division minigun. And our first Mark III minigun is on the way. But before that's complete, the aliens have come back for more. What do we get? <laughs> alright, 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 alright game. It's time for Terror Ship number two. It's about time actually. Alright. Time to get serious. At least we got the cool new guns in time. We're almost fully geared up for phase one, so I'm not too scared of it yet. But I'm going to try to shoot this puppy down. We haven't shot one of these down yet, and I think we can do it now. So what I'm going to send off immediately is some fighters to shoot down the escorts. And I want to see what else spawns. Another small. That might be it. Okay. So we're going to launch, okay, we're going to be smart about this. We're going to launch a Foxtrot Wing from Indochina, and we're going to launch a Foxtrot wing from, wing from North Africa. Now two might be enough, that's really all I've got unless Australia, Australia base can get there. With all the cool names. If we had Foxtrots... Oh, there's another one of those. If we had Foxtrots available in uh, North America or Europe, that would be great. But we haven't got that far, so... These smalls, I'm not really all that worried about. So let's just uh, shoot them down. With uh, some... Uh, just regular interceptors, basically. These guys should go down easy enough. Maybe we'll get to that one later. Alright, don't worry about the smalls. Focus on the big boy. Interceptors going for escorts. Foxtrot trying to get in front of it. This is very important. Alright, we got him. Interceptors go. It's about time. So what we're going to do, we've seen this before once, I think. It's been a while. But, it's phase one of anti-escort uh, combat. Is to split them up from their escort. And of course the aliens are stupid. I want my guys to group up a little bit. Just a little bit of grouping, that's all. Nothing crazy. The Assyrius are a little bit faster than the, uh, the fighters. But not a lot. But... Remember, Mausers have amazing DPS, and this is six Mausers all condensed into one tiny little square. So if we can take out these escorts before any of the carrier, you know, drones and missiles get us, we'll be okay. These guys can't even touch the carrier, in case you're wondering. Alright, let's do this thing. Maybe they'll come this way. Yeah, that's a better angle for me. Alright, here goes, boys. Let's see. So the trick with this is being very familiar with how, how far you barrel roll. I think we got him. Well, we barrel rolled a little bit further than I wanted. That's unfortunate. We almost killed him, but I don't think we'll be able to quite finish him off. Yeah, he's going to get out of the way. But what we'll be able to do, as soon as our cooldown expires finish him off like that. Alright. Next. Alright. 
All right, so remember, learn your barrel roll distances. And it's easy. Now get out of there, boys. Quick. Missiles are coming. Escorts out of the way. No problem. Those missiles will probably one-shot you too, so really don't stick around. All right. Next up, the big boy. All right. It's changed directions. That's not helpful. Okay. Fox shots are faster than terror carriers. We just want to get in front of it. Uh, oops. Shoot. I thought it was... That was dumb. Oh, no. It's, is it turned around? Okay. It's turned around. Perfect. We're coming right at it. Perfect. And then we do have backup reinforcements on the way. We'll probably need two wings, but you never know. All right, here we go. So it is very important that we're coming in from the front and not the back. You'll see in a second. So, I've done this experiment before. If you come from behind, it takes a while to turn and it gets its fire off quicker. But if it's flying towards you, we'll be in range of our torpedoes very, very quickly. All right, here we go, boys. Suicide run. Also, it can only launch two missiles at once. These are uh, terror carrier, I don't know, some sort of super missiles. We actually probably want to slow down, yeah. But <laughs> it could only kill two at once and they should have launched, if I, if I did it right, th this is why we came from the front. If they did it correctly, they would have launched two volleys of torpedoes before they died. If you come at it from behind, they will only launch one volley before the missiles take you out. So at this point, if we attacked it from behind, we would have three missiles in the air, two dead foxtrots. Instead, we have six missiles in the air. This guy managed to launch number three, probably not number four, but it doesn't matter. Carrier down. Noble foxtrots. Noble foxtrots. That's how you do it with one wave of foxtrots. Now, if you're not playing with the easy air game, you will need two waves. But, two waves will do it. Also, hey Tim. Alright. That's our first shot down massive. Get hyped. So, the question now is... Can the A team get it, or should we have the bad team get it? Seven, almost eight hours. Let's see. We definitely don't want to do this at night. The music is annoying? Well, that's one person who doesn't like the music. <laughs> People want A team. All right. Let's make sure they're geared up. C team will get torn apart. That's true. Okay, well, we're going to have to do some gear setup then. I think uh, what we'll do here is for the future tubers, we're going to put a cut because they're going to have to, we're going to probably spend the next 10 minutes rearranging gear. But when we come back, future tubers, we got ourselves a terror mission. Also, terror missions will take a full episode anyway, so that's totally normal. All right. We're all, we also have some more, uh, some more things to shoot down. It's fine. We have a couple small missions that we'll be able to do with the, with the scouts. This guy landed, whatever. We'll deal with them later. I'm not really worried about the scouts. Also, just by shooting that terror carrier down, that was like plus 120,000 to our monthly income. That's a ton of money. Even if you can't do the ground mission, this is better than letting it terrorize the city. Way better. Anyway, future tubers, thank you for watching down. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time with a deadly shot down terror ship. See you later.